So a resealable plastic bag, this is probably something that you've already got in the kitchen, but you're not using it this way. And one of the things that I really love doing with it is using it for any recipe that calls for crushing or chopping nuts, cookie, candy. It's great stress release also. Put your ice in the bag, seal her up, trusty rolling pin. Hmm. Yum. Best way to store chicken stock is to freeze it. Leave a little room because it will expand while it freezes. When you put it in the freezer, freeze it flat. Once they're frozen, you can kind of store them anywhere that you have room. So you can go up like this, like books, and put them there. You make a big batch smoothie. Freeze in individual bags. Drop it into the freezer. And then the night before, you just move this into the fridge. And when you wake up in the morning, it'll be kind of half frozen, half thawed, perfect smoothie texture. And you've only washed this once. This recipe is actually based on my mom's marinade, which we had probably at least once a week. Quartered shallots, garlic that's still in the skin, quartered lemons. This is fresh rosemary and whole peppercorn. Add a little olive oil. Squeezing the air out will just make it more compact. Just mix everything in the bag. It'll marinate on this side. Halfway through, I can just turn the bag over, make sure everything else is evenly coated with the marinade as well. And then when it's time to cook, I'll just take that out and go straight out of the bag. A trick whenever you're filling a bag with something kind of liquidy is just use a deli container or a big wide mouth jar. it off. So take it from one side and that's just going to make a nice clean opening. Try to gather it up. Thanks so much for hanging out in the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen with me today. I'm Carla. See you next time.